Hello beautiful people, welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Nadia and welcome to another fragrance review. You guys, we are finally going to be reviewing a fragrance that I have wanted for so long. I wanted this fragrance because of the bottle. I wanted this fragrance because of the name. I just felt like this fragrance was going to be everything under the sun to me that I have always wanted. But that price tag has kept me from ordering the fragrance, blind buying the fragrance, buying a small one or anything. The price tag is no joke. They are proud of this fragrance. But I was finally able to catch it actually in stock and get a sample of it. So we will be sampling, as you can see by the thumbnail, Killian's Rolling in Love. Ah, I'm so excited. I am so excited to be sampling this because if you know me, then you know that I have been wanting this for so long that this ain't one to play with, baby, because the price tag on this is I've grown. I got my stuff together. My car note is paid. My mortgage is paid. <laughs> It better be if you're buying these. <laughs> okay, you guys, so without further ado, let's get into the main accord and the nips. So, as always, this is a unisex fragrance. Um, the main accords are vanilla, almond, floral, musky, powdery, sweet, tuberose, nutty, iris, and white floral. This was launched in 2019, so your girl is late. This is an oriental floral fragrance for men and women, like I said. The top notes are almond, milk, and ambrette, musk hollow. The middle notes are iris, freesia, heliotrope, peony, hedione, and raspberry. The base notes are tuberose, vanilla, tonka bean, musk, lactones, and caramel. So let's talk about it. Okay, you guys. Like I said, I have been wanting this for so long long and I'm gonna be honest uh first impressions I was not I was not impressed at first okay I expected so much from this fragrance I think I was so hyped and so excited about it that I just put too much love into the fragrance before I actually got my nose on it and my expectations were too high so Initially, I was disappointed, but I have been wearing it and I have just been letting it sit and do its thing. Um, this is definitely a me type of fragrance because it is, I feel like it's a different scent. Like it doesn't smell like just regular old perfume um, that they sell in an Ulta or somewhere like that. It doesn't give me that. Even with that, I still expected so much more. And that was that's on me because nobody told me that this was gonna be anything extravagant or anything like that. I have heard that it smells good and all of that. I've heard that I would love it, but I, I did not know what to expect from the fragrance. And that's just what it is. But I am a lover of almond fragrances so this being an almond scent that has caramel in it that has peony in it tonka bean freesia like i can smell those even though i was not excited about it at first i do like the fragrance um i feel like full body like if i was to do a full body wear on this fragrance that i would like it even more because it is something really really nice about it that i love and i know i'm probably biased because i love almond fragrances like it gives me almond but creamy um i like it and it, it, like I, at first like i said i was disappointed because in my head i hyped it up so much i just don't know what i was expecting it to smell like again that's on me but i i, I do know I guess I was looking at the price tag and I was expecting it to just like knock my socks off and it didn't do that at first. So that's where the disappointment came in at. It took me to wear it a few days and for me to sit with it and kind of smell the air, like walk by air kind of um, having it on my hand and just let me whiff by it. 
it, it took me to do that for me to say, okay, well, Nadia, your first impression is like right off the bat. I expected it to be like, oh my God, I love this. I smell. And that's not what I got. But it was a fragrance that I had to sit with and I actually really like it. I would, this is the type of fragrance that I would like to add to my collection, but for the price tag, I would have to, see this is Nadia trying to make good financial decisions. I like the fragrance. I want to absolutely love it. I want to be obsessed with it. I want to feel like I cannot live without this and I need to wear it every day, all day and scared to spread it because of how much I paid for it. That's, that's the feeling that I want. Maybe if I wore it full body, I would get that, but smelling it just like off my hand, for me rubbing it on my hand, I'm not getting that. I do like it though. I do really like it. I just, it just has to make sense for for me to do it like that's the that's the thing that bothers me when I like for instance I just reapplied it on my hand that first initial out of the bottle is what I, I don't care for it like it does nothing for me it does not excite me it's like that first layer needs to come off and then I can enjoy the fragrance and that shouldn't be the case I need to I need to love it baby when it's spraying from the bottle to my skin I need to love that air right there. This the bottle, this is my skin. I need to love this. When it comes out of that bottle, I need to be loving it as soon as it hits the air and hits my skin. <laughs> and I don't get that from this. The top layer of it hitting my skin is when I was like, what? That was literally my, first, my face, not an attractive face, but that was my face. The first time I smelled it, I was like, what in the world but then once it wore off the top notes came off I was like okay this smells good so I can't spend $400 on a fragrance that I'm not gonna want to wear because I don't want to go through the first notes of it if I could skip the smell of the first notes and get down to the the, the meat and potatoes of the fragrance I would possibly be okay but that would mean I would, for me to get it, I would have to completely love the entire scent profile of it. The opening and once it settles. I want to, I have to love it like that. I, it, it especially for me to spend as much as this costs on it, I have to love it from front to back. And I don't, I don't love it from front to back. I don't like the opening of it. But like right now, the, um, the top layer it's fading off and it's it's nice it is a it's a nice fragrance <laughs> i want to love it i can't justify getting this and then it's sitting over there because i keep saying i just don't like when it open the opening of it so i don't really wear it because of that i'd be so upset with myself if i did that i'm a little disappointed <laughs> because i wanted to love it i did i wanted to love it and I, I don't love the opening. I don't love the opening and I'm okay with the rest of it. I like the rest of it. It's nice. It's a nice fragrance. Like this is a fragrance that if I was looking for a signature scent, this is something that I would, wouldn't mind wearing as a signature scent because this would be a nice everyday scent. Like it's not over for me, <laughs> for me, okay. I always, I always have to be specific on that because if y'all saw the comments that I see sometimes, y'all would, it would make sense why I always, for me, for me, because I, I watch, I don't know if y'all watch, this is kind of sidetracked, but I don't know if y'all watch Destiny, on, um, all of Destiny on YouTube, but Destiny is always giving disclaimers. And Destiny always says that her subscribers are always saying, Destiny, you don't have to keep giving those disclaimers. But Destiny keeps giving disclaimers because of things people keep saying in her comments. And she'd be like, I know y'all say I don't have to give disclaimers, but and she laughing. And it's because she does. It's because people are watching her and they are saying certain things. And it's like, okay, 
If I would have gave a disclaimer, they probably wouldn't have said that. So she's constantly giving these disclaimers because of things people are saying in her comments. And I catch myself doing that. And I feel like when I do that, I'm like, okay, I'm acting like destiny. But I get why I laugh every time she does it because I'm like, I get why she does it. Because you don't want to have to keep giving disclaimers, but people will really attack you take you online like you gotta have another layer of skin to not get attacked online because these people will come for the juggler on you okay and it's almost like baby you're grown you're grown what you do what you decide to do ain't got nothing to do with me i didn't make you do it okay that's what, that's what it's getting that's what it's getting but people will really attack you online so when I be saying, for me, for me, it's because people will act like I am forcing them to do or like do certain things or get certain things or because I feel a certain way about a fragrance that it is like, <laughs> that's if y'all wonder why I be doing that, that is why, okay? That is why. 99% of y'all are fan, 99.9% of y'all are fan, all of y'all, most of y'all are fantabulous. I would get one that'll sprinkle in here every now and then that just makes me want to be like, go touch grass, please. <laughs> please go touch grass because I ain't got that. Okay, it's always one. And then when it's, it's one, I feel like they don't, they're not subscribed to me. They just found me along their search. They don't care nothing about me. And they just, you know, want to say what they're going to say. And then they're going to be trucking along, going to say something crazy on somebody else's video. And I have to come to terms with that. It is what it is when you decide to do this. Okay? <laughs> I know that was so sidetracked, but I just had to say that in a moment because I was thinking about it. And like I said, while I'm sitting here moving and doing this, and I can smell it, it's like, oh, it smells good. So this would be a perfect, like I said, everyday scent from like I, I could see me wearing this as a every time I'm around Nadia, she smells good. She always smells like this. Like she smells good. She always has a nice scent on her. But I always, this is always what I smell like. Like once it settles, that's what this is given. Like I could wear this every single day. And it would be just like a second skin scent to me. I could get out of the shower and put this on. I can wear this on a date. I could wear this to work. I could wear this to church. I could wear this. It's given you can wear this every day, all day, no matter where you want to go. If you want to go on a date and be extra fancy, it's given you can layer it with something and make it even more, you know, into something. It's given that this is a everyday scent. It would be something you could wear anytime, anywhere, every day, all day. If you can get past the price tag, this is definitely something that can be worn every day. I like it a lot the more I sit here and I'm I'm smelling it. But that opening, like right now, the opening is gone. It has calmed down. It has went away into the air follicles. <laughs> Whatever. It's gone. But how am I supposed to get it and love it if I absolutely hate the opening? Hate is a strong word. I'm not going to say hate. If I don't care for the opening, how am I supposed to love it if I don't care for the opening? That's the part that sucks. I want to love the opening, you know? Do y'all ever get fragrances that y'all don't love the opening and y'all just suck it up because you know the dry down is good? Like, do y'all ever get that? Like, if you do, let me know down below in the comments. Like, how does it make you feel when you put it on? And then you don't care for the opening, but you know what you have to look forward to because you know the dry down is going to be good. Like, have y'all done that or y'all just like, no, if I don't like the opening, it's a no-go on the fragrance. Because I'm sitting here. And, and, and if you have Rolling in Love, does it last? Is it worth it to suck up the fact that I don't like the opening because it's beautiful once it settles and it lasts a long time? Like, let me know I'm going to come in, y'all. Y'all got to help me on this one. For those of you that have this one, y'all got to help me on this one because this one is a hard one because I like this dry down. I just don't like the opening, but I need to know what I did. That one is the bomb when you actually wear it and the dry, the, the top layer goes away fast. And once you wear it, it lasts a long time. Like I need, I need the tea on this one. 
I need help. I'm asking y'all for help on this one because I've been wanting this one for so freaking long. I need y'all's help. Let me know down below in the comments, okay? All right, you guys, I hope y'all enjoyed this video. As always, before you leave, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. I love you guys to pieces. Thank y'all for all the support. Thank y'all for watching all these videos I keep pumping out. Y'all freaking rock. I love y'all. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you in tomorrow's video. Bye, guys.